Hey folks, welcome to Fireflies Follies. I hope that you enjoy the video today. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And if you have not subscribed yet, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. So today I am canning up Thanksgiving in a jar. Actually, tomorrow I'm canning up Thanksgiving in a jar. Today I'm getting everything ready. I have a pan of cornbread cooking in the oven and I am about to attempt, this is a really big turkey, I'm about to attempt to debone the breast and then I'm going to roast the legs and the thighs and the wings and tomorrow I will um, chop that up and put it in the dressing that I'm going to be canning along with the turkey. So I'm going to play some music and let you guys watch me fumble around with butchering a turkey. So now that I have got most of the breast off, that is going to be cubed and put into the jars under the dressing. I'm going to go ahead and finish breaking this down and get it in a roasting bag and get it in the oven. So tomorrow I will bring you guys back and I will show you how I can up Thanksgiving in a jar. So when I think Thanksgiving dinner, I think of turkey with dressing and cranberry sauce. I am going to be canning up some Thanksgiving in a jar. Now, let me say this is not USDA recommended or approved. This is a straight up rebel canning recipe. I'm not telling you that this is how you should do it. I'm not telling you to do this at all. I am telling you that this is what I do, works for me. You do what works for you. So I'm taking my crock pot dressing recipe and I will leave a link at the end of the video to that video um, and I modified it just a little bit and what I've done is I have cut it from four eggs to two eggs and I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and then I am reducing the poultry seasoning and sage I'm only gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of poultry seasoning to this and the reason that I'm doing that is because sage gets bitter when you can it. So I've got my two cans of cream of, of chicken soup. I've actually sauteed a medium onion and a cup of celery. I, after I deboned the turkey breast, I roasted the rest of it and I have pulled off some leg thigh and the wing meat and torn it up into small pieces. I baked a pan of cornbread and I've dried out a few slices of bread and torn them up into small pieces. I have my chicken broth, so I'm going to get all of this combined. I've got the, I canned part of the turkey already, but I saved some so that I could layer in my jar. I'm going to put a third of a jar of turkey, and then I'm going to fill it up to about an inch and a half of headspace with the dressing. And in between, I am just going to drop in a few dried cranberries for the cranberry relish that I would normally have. And then I'm going to process it for meat times, which for I'm going to be doing pints, so that would be 75 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this mixed up, and once I have it all mixed up, I'll bring you back and show you how I load up the jars. Okay, I have my dressing all mixed up. I got my turkey out of the fridge. I got me a bowl of cranberries out. This, And what I'm going to do, I've cut my turkey up into chunks. So I'm going to put probably six 
five or six chunks of turkey in the bottom of each of my jars and then I'm gonna fill it up to about an inch and a half I'm gonna leave an inch and a half of headspace in this because it will expand before it contracts when it's heating up it's gonna expand a bit and then as it cools it will shrink down a little bit and if you go all the way to a one inch headspace there's a really good chance that your dressing will siphon out the top so I'm gonna go ahead and get these jars filled up And I'm just going to pack the turkey down in as I go. Get all the air out that I can. And then I just put a pinch of cranberries. I don't put a set amount. I, just, I don't put a set amount. I just put what looks good. And then I'm going to spoon in some dressing. Slide these back. And I'm going to pack that down in and I'll put a little bit more in this, but I want to make sure that I'm leaving at least an inch and a half of headspace. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a stool over here and finish filling my jars and then I will bring you back. Okay, so I have filled all of my jars with some turkey, some cranberries, and some dressing. And what was left, I put into a small tart pan, and I'm going to stick that in my oven. And I will have that with leftover turkey tonight. So now I've got just plain white vinegar and a paper towel. And I'm going to clean my rims. Alright, now that my rims are clean, I'm just going to drop on my lids. I'm 
gonna add my rings fingertip tight. So I have my canner, all, I've done all the checks and all the safety checks, and it has water in it, but I haven't turned it on yet. So I'm going to get these over in the canner, and I will bring them up to temperature. Once it vents, once it starts to vent a steady stream of steam, I'll let it vent for 10 minutes. Then when that 10 minutes is up, I will start a timer, and these will go from meat times, which is 75 minutes. At my altitude, that's at 11 pounds or 10 pounds by weight. Once they've processed for 75 minutes, I'll turn them off and I'll let them come down off of pressure. And then I'll take the lid off and let them sit for five or six minutes before I take them out. And when it's time to get them out, I'll bring you back and show you how they turned out. Okay, so I brought it up to steam and I let it vent for 10 minutes. Then I processed it for 75 minutes and they've been sitting for probably about 15, 20 minutes. I got a phone call right after I took the lid off. So let's get them out and see how they turned out. I've been hearing them seal. So we have a layer of turkey, a layer of dressing and in between there somewhere is some cranberry. And tomorrow I will come back and take off the rings and I will wash and label the jars. And then anytime I feel like having turkey and dressing, it's just a few minutes to heat it up, a few seconds in the microwave. I have these as grab and go lunches every once in a while. Take them to work. They are delicious. Again, I did reduce the amount of poultry seasoning and sage because sage does get bitter when you can it. But these are good as long as the seal holds. I think the longest I've ever had them last, I usually only can six or eight jars at a time. Longest I've ever had them last is about a year and a half, meaning the longest that they've ever lasted without me eating them. I really hope that you enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And if you have not subscribed yet, I really hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. If you hit the notification bell, YouTube should notify you when I upload a new video based on your settings. Y'all, thank you so much for watching today. Y'all have a great day.